Hey, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly read. And let's take a look and see what your overarching energy is. So this is going to affect all your reads. Uh, the spreads I'm going to be doing today are going to be a general, and then we'll go into career and finance, and then we'll get into love, okay? So we'll touch on a little bit of all three, all right? But what is most important that you need to know? This is for your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus and your north node that might come out. Okay, so this wants to come out. And what do we get? Ooh, what do you add? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna have to pull another card on this too, okay? So um, let's just take a look. Let's see what else that we get coming through here. Ah, some of you could be have some sort of confusion in matters of the heart, okay? Uh, so that could be coming through as well, okay? But let's dive in. Let's get a little bit more and see what we got. So maybe that you're having a tough time, you know, uh, with messages incoming and outgoing and just making sure that you respond rather than react because emotions might be running high a little bit. Uh, note your comments, guys. That could be the case, okay? Um, so what I do get, uh, Satch, is, is uh, it's a card of called confusion, and this is about conflicting thoughts. Uh, maybe it's regarding a major decision that you're looking to you're looking at okay at this moment and you might not be sure which way to go or you know or to where to turn to and maybe you're unable to kind of um, uh, you're, you're unable to choose between that what you that what you truly love and that what you think you must do so I feel that for some of you this might have to do with work so maybe you're confused at some sort of point um, but really this is that an obligation to others, right? You're afraid that you might disappoint or hurt another by choosing what you love. So this is saying, oh my gosh, you're in a, this is something, note your comments below, uh, Sanj. Let me know if, the, if this is what's happening with a lot of you out there. Because I do get it, it has to do with your heart chakra. You know, that frequency of the heart chakra uh, it is that, that harmonizing of the mind and the body. So there's something that is disturbed in your heart chakra that is rocking you, right? And it's, it's, uh, so I feel that there may be some sort of choice. Um, I mean, you, it, it's like, I, I feel almost like you don't want to place a lot of pressure on yourself right now to put, you know, you know, and, and make a decision at this moment, give yourself some time, maybe step back and take a short little break and get some peace and quiet. And then over the coming days, I think things are going to become a lot clearer to you. Okay. So your obligation is right now is just to honor, you know, honor, what is what you truly feel in your heart and if not now later in time others will understand all right so it is it's, it's i think it's mucking up your, some of your emotions um but this is expressing from a loving place and um and and you're adopting new beneficial thought patterns and uh, no longer are you reacting, you're responding, which is really quite beautiful. What does, what do you need to be aware of about this? Is there anything more that's going to be important for you to keep in mind? Wow. Okay. So this is the only one that flipped. I get pray. You're going to get some sort of victory. It wants you to pray. Now, since the, uh, the other two came out, I don't typically take them, but this is a, this is an important thing. So let's just see what comes out. Get some downtime. Yep. Get some downtime from the rat race, being on the hamster wheel, and you're going to see the solution, okay? But it's going to come through praying, okay? And I see it, see the solution. It's a 10 card, so it's going to hit that point. Praying's going to get you balanced and, uh, use, and, and use your creativity. Get a little bit of downtime because you're going to need it during this time, okay? So let's leave this here, and let's jump into your general read, at Sag. And, uh, man, I'm thinking of you. Wow. Let's take a look and see what comes in your general read. What's most important? Justice, balancing something out. Balancing something out. Okay, it's too many cards. Let's just uh, get a couple more cards that's important for Sagittarius. Wow, the world card. And look at the wheel of fortune. Major, major, major arcana. Big changes for you. I'm glad I'm doing your read this week, guys. Look at bottom of the deck. This would have been a fourth one. Uh, something's hidden like this is you kind of you know in in you know kind of in the deepest depths right now and uh, feeling that something is hidden at this moment uh so you know it's it's uh, pisces energy but i do feel that what's coming through in your general read is that things are going to be balanced justice will be served there's a sense of some sort of completion because you're connected with source and you're stepping out in the world in a whole new way You've been changed in some sort of way. There's been balance of the mind, Libra energy, and you're stepping out into the world. And this is a change. There's luck that is coming through. 
and the universe is co-creating with you, Sag. So I feel that this is an opportunity for change. Uh, this is a chance. This is fortune. This is a decisive moment. This is a decisive moment for you here, okay? All the majors are coming out here, okay? Uh, what is it? Um, now, in terms of the universe is working with you, there is a sense of a very successful completion here, okay? So, you know, especially with the world card. So this, uh, this, this really kind of talks about fulfillment and a sense of belonging and success, achievement, and accomplishment, maybe regarding travel, something is going to balance you out, okay? Give me more on this general read. What is this? Uh, uh, give me a little bit more information. What do we get? Yeah, you kind of felt left out before, and you know that your mind was deceiving you, and you're letting that go. So the, in terms of that, you're walking away from something that you've invested a lot of energy and effort into, a lot of emotion into. And this is just could be the deception of the mind of feeling kind of left out in scarcity. You're walking away because you don't feel that anymore. You feel connected to source. You feel, you know, this is an opportunity to change your situation and balance things out. And this is where you're at. So you're no longer here. You're a different person where you are now than where you were before. Even if you've taken on something at the beginning of that thing that you had taken on, you were a different person. You were one person. But when you are wherever you're at right now, you're completely different. You because you've let something go and walked away. And so you kind of have this, this a lot more clarity. What else comes through for you that's going to be important? Um, what is the, any more information for Sagittarius and their general spread? Fo it wants you to follow your bliss, Sag. You, this is about, you know, don't get caught in the story or the details. This is about observing the situation and step back to see the bigger picture and, and trust the process. Everything always works out, okay? So uh, it's just a saying that something, something is on the horizon that's really great. And this is having total confidence in the universe, all right, to co-create with you here. There, maybe there's something that you want to do instead of what you're doing right now. So this is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, any sort of advice that's going to be key for you here? Any sort of uh, energetic advice that's going to be key? What do we get? Ah, it's Merkaba. This is the ability to use your consciousness and, uh, and, and to transverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It's activating your, your inheritance, your Akashic records. So this is merging into your own experiences from the past into the present. And you're using your, 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 your skills and your talents for the highest good. What do your angels have to say for you in this situation? What do we get? What do we get? There's something better. This is the second time I saw that. There's something better for you here. Where did I see this? Yep. Something better is on the horizon. There's something better. So the angels are confirming that, guys. Okay? Whatever this is for you, because every Sagittarius is on a different, uh, you know, uh, uh, a, a, a different journey. Okay. Let's look at your career in finance and see what comes through career in finance. Wow. Oh, this is, this is way too many. Okay. Let's just take a look. Let's do three good shuffles here and then see what comes through for you here. One more. Okay. What do we get? What's coming out for Sagittarius and their career in finance that they need to know most, especially during this week. There it is. Ten of Cups, guys. Man, you're on a new beginning. Something that you love, long-term happiness is going to is, is about a new beginning. And this could be a new beginning in your work. Maybe you're starting a new project or you're starting in a new field. Uh, you're starting something new completely. Whatever it is that you're protected along the way, okay? So this is what the card talks about. All right, anything more? Look at this. A, a new beginning with two coming together, bonds, uh, you know, it, it's unity, joining forces, a partnership. So you could have long term happiness is all about a starting of a new partnership. Now, this could be romantic for some of you. Your romance, uh, romantic uh, uh, life is, is interfering with your career and finance life. And it could be one in the same. Maybe you are dating someone at work or you got a connection with someone you're working on a project with. What is this two of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? There's a new beginning that brings in happiness. 
emperor putting something on strong, solid ground. Wow. There's an opportunity to join forces and put something on strong, solid ground and focus on your uh, uh, security and also passion. Man, I feel that you're connected with someone. This is a joining forces. If it's not someone that you're passionate about at work and that's it's coming together and there's something new you're doing with another person here, um, this could be an opportunity for a new beginning that brings in long-term happiness through a partnership that finally puts something on strong, solid ground for you where you're able to strategize your security and put yourself in a better positioning. And it's something that you're passionate about and you might meet someone there Gemini energy is coming through here, but I get, I get earth, I get earth fire. Um, I get water. It's, it's, you know, it's coming through here, but um, it could be something that you're really passionate about for some of you. Okay. Uh, give me more on the career in finance that uh, comes out uh, for Sagittarius. That's important, especially this week that wants to reveal itself. What's most important for Sagittarius this week in terms of their career. Uh, give me two more, uh, two more for uh, Sagittarius. Uh, give me one more. Uh, one more. Take this one here. What do we get? Huh. Wow, guys. Some of you are meditating, focusing on yoga. Some of you might be focusing on children. Your life purpose might focus in on helping children or teaching children. Um, you know, it, it, this is saying to get a lot of balance, uh, focusing on yoga. Maybe you're doing some stretching and exercising to balance your chakras to, you know, to keep this enlightenment. Uh, that we got with the world card that came through. And I do get flowers. Like, I don't know, something about flowers is, is helping you bring in blessings about your life purpose. Why is that coming through? How interesting. Uh, anything more that it's going to be key? What do we get? Freedom. You're at this moment. You are free to do what you choose, Sag. You, it's, it's, it's coming through here. It wants you to follow your guidance. All right? What about uh, your love life that comes through? Okay. What about your love life that comes through that's going to be key? What is uh, your love life for Sagittarius that's coming through? Anything that wants to reveal itself? We've got a new opportunity here. Ace of Cups, intimacy, attraction, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Uh, give me more in your love life. Wanting to persevere on this opportunity. You're not giving up in love on an opportunity a passion and coming together. And what is this? Taking action and moving forward, the chariot energy. This is taking outside action on the physical plane. You're persevering and taking action towards something that, or to someone that you love. This is a, a creative project, creativity, being creative about love. This is like going through an emotional awakening. This could be intimacy and spiritual, um, you know, initiation, spiritual uh, persevering and taking action on an opportunity. What is this opportunity of the Ace of Cups coming through for Sag? What do we get? You get the clarity. You're getting the clarity about love, about intimacy and connection. And um, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be taking on this energy. And this is being very intuitive, balancing things out. You become clear about balancing out your emotions in a situation. Give me more on love for you. What do we get? More on love for Sagittarius. Um, let's just take a look. Wow. Give me, a, uh, give me some, give me three cards. That's one. Cupid's arrow. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not going to take them all, but your energy. It's kind of funny because when I first shuffled your cards, uh, it did, did the same thing. So I had to restart. <laughs> so I'm only going to take the one that flipped over first because the rest just fell out. Have faith. Love is coming surprise invitation or meeting you might be hesitant about it but uh let's take a look give me two more this is it heart with a key welcoming love meeting the one man you're meeting someone you really love this is the perfect partner this is like a perfect opportunity you're meeting the one open your heart you're getting together with this person all right it's a good time it's like your heart and the key your your heart meets its key and vice versa Love is coming in. To get two cards like that, I don't typically get that with these cards. And what else? That means that uh, you're, you have endings. Endings bring in new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation. There's a transformation taking place. There's a transformation and liberation taking place. Ooh, 
what do your angels guides have to say to you about your love life here about this um you have to your new beginnings growth and change what is this there's a lot of helpful people around you tap into helpful people be assertive i've been getting assertiveness for you over the weeks guys and i don't know if there's something you need to be assertive about maybe assertive about love because there's a heart with the key all right and there's like this beautiful rainbow behind her so she's holding the key so it be assertive in a situation regarding love and welcoming love maybe you need to share your love with someone that you maybe haven't been saying but it's about getting together what else do i get yeah something about don't force it don't force it and ask for help from others is what this is saying interesting very interesting guys uh uh and wow Anything else you need to know um, about um, anyone that's coming? Well, first of all, anything else you need to know about this? Having compassion and nurturing each other. I don't know. You've got an opportunity coming in. Cupid zero is going to strike. Now, it's either going to work for some of you and not work. Uh, it could either be, th this could be a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning, either a new way with someone old, that, or not someone old, but someone that you might know. Or just a brand new person about like meeting a new person and you're welcoming love and because you've closed out a chapter so you're nurturing yourself with compassion and focusing in on your north node i love seeing that your purpose all right so this is good wow how interesting guys hmm anyone that's coming towards sagittarius that uh, if that didn't resonate with some of you anyone that's coming towards sagittarius we need to be aware of during this week what comes through this is judgment, making a decision, making a decision. Uh, maybe you're expressing love and your joy with someone. I don't know if you, this is, uh, this is making a decision to express love to someone and, uh, and the nine of cups and it's a wish come true. She said, you have got someone that this is a wish come true. It's because you've let go of something. It's almost like the person that's coming towards you feels they're making a decision and letting themselves free and, or, and or, or vice versa, it could go either way, but the person coming towards you, it's like you're a wish for them. And they want to come towards you because this is a Knight of Cups, movement forward in love, expression of emotion towards bliss, a wish coming true, and making a decision with judgment. Anything more about the person that's coming towards Sagittarius? Make sure they're not using you as an option, guys, okay? Uh, this is going to be key, all right? Whoa, here we go again with the cards. Make sure that you're not, um, yeah. Um, make sure that you are, uh, that you kind of suss the situation out. All right. And, and, uh, cause I do get kind of like a twin flame kind of, I'm getting like a twin flame situation. What do you need to know about this person? But be grounded. Focus in on, on being grounded, earth energy. And balance out the, the, the earth energy and the divine feminine, okay? Being receptive and nurturing in your soft side with the strong, grounded, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, essence as well. Stay in tune with the earth, okay? And what else? And focus on your root chakra. Focus on, you know, be balanced in the midst of passion right here. Be, you know, balance yourself, okay? The root chakra. It's all about, you know, being balanced uh, in the physical world. So keep your feet on the floor during a, a, a situation that comes up. Suss it out. You've got, you, I, I feel that you are able to do this, but you've got opportunities coming for you. You're really attractive right now. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. If you want a personal read, click the link in the description box below. All right. Until next time, namaste.